hey, first and foremost, I want to give all. <laughs> the others, the praises and the glory belongs to Yahweh by Sham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mahava, Ka, Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. It's going, going to be a quickie, right? Post camp production. So I want to do a little quick one. I'm just in there, I'm just, you know, in the wilderness, you know, chilling with the horses, right? Beautiful animals, beautiful, loyal animals we got right here, right? And we're going to have these animals in the kingdom, right? Quick lesson I want to do. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. This is Joel 5, okay? Hey, this is Joel 5. And where should we start? Where should we start? Jump at. Hey. <laughs> right? Hey, behave yourself. It says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. This is Joel 5. And start at 20. 20. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in the war from the power of the sword. So when famine hits, he's going to redeem his elect. All right? When that famine really hits, Yahweh is going to redeem his elect. They're going to eat. The scripture says, My servant shall eat. All right? They shall be hungry. All right? The ones that were scoffing, the ones that thought what we were saying was rubbish, they're going to realize everything we were saying was true. All right? We're going to eat. And it says, at destruction and famine, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Okay? And it says, neither should I be afraid of the destruction when it cometh. So we're also going to be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither should we be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Alright? Because it's going to be great calamities. And it says, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. For someone to laugh at destruction and famine, that's a... You have to have a real mighty, mighty spirit upon you to laugh at destruction and famine, right? Thou shalt laugh. And it says, Baba Kasha, neither should I be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Most people, they're afraid of the animals. Really, we were set over the animals. Neither should we be afraid of the earth because what are animals liable to do with most people? Attack them, right? And even with horses, horses, yeah, they attack you because you don't know how to approach them right. And you don't approach a horse, right, by going on the back, back of their legs. You don't approach them that way. Or, <laughs> or go into the front of them. You go to the side of them and horses pick up on energy, right? Not just horses, all animals, right? And you stroke the horse on the side of the face. Well, it's walking off now. You, you stroke it on the side of the face you don't go directly to it right the horses are real real spiritual animals let me tell you that now beautiful horses right here but anyways bear me just a minute and it says baba kasha baba kasha hey <laughs> and it says baba kasha for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field right neither shall be afraid of the beasts of the earth for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field Right? Mm. And the beasts. Mm. Right? Aye. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Mm. Right? So they're even going to be at peace with thee. Right? The beasts of the field. Everything's going to be at serenity. Everything's going to be at peace with us. We're going to be in one. We're going to be in the spirit. When you're in the spirit, guess what? You're at peace. With everything around you is at peace. So we have to trust in these scriptures. Just a little pulse camp production. And until the next one, shut up, they're fighting now. Until the next one, shut up, shut up.